Now it's recording. Oh wait, I wanted to not record. Hi everybody! My name is Hannah, aka Disneyland Banana. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe to follow me along on all of my Disney and college adventures. So today I am doing a video that was requested by both my cousin Lindsay and my friend Courtney, so thank you guys so much for suggesting this. I am doing a dorm tour! Yay! <laughs> I'm just gonna talk about everything West Lothian. I'm gonna tell you guys why it's better or worse than the other dorms here on campus. I know that when I was first accepted to UCR but then even after I decided to go here I was really interested in watching like all of the dorm tours that I could possibly find and there's lots of them out there on Pentland and AI but there's really not that many on Lothian but especially West Lothian. So I'm here today to try and fix that issue. So if any of you are incoming freshmen, welcome to UCR, and I really hope that this video helps you kind of figure out how the dorms work and how West Lothian compares to the other dorms. Here we go, let's just go. Well, once a night, one tomorrow morning. So when you walk in the sliding doors, there's like this lobby area. Yay. So the entrance to East Lothian's right there. If you keep coming forward, down this hall is the dining hall. I'm not going to take you guys in there. And over here is the uh, resident service office. So it's like where you go if you have any problems with anything. If you head out that door, those yellow things are the Amazon lockers. To my left are the mailboxes. Mine is right. Uh, I don't think I have any mail. Uh, right now we've got all the blue cards for moving out, so that's cool. Um, yeah, so we head through this door. Always go ahead and put the door on the right in this hall because it's less heavy. And if you go that way to the B wing. This way to the A wing. I live in the A wing. Scanner, here's my art card. Take you down to my favorite part of the movie. Oh my goodness. It's absolutely disgusting. It smells like brown cheese. There's some people doing laundry. I mean, whatever, good for you, but it's like you're moving out. Why? <laughs> Can you imagine carrying you know, 10 pounds of laundry? I can, it's not fun. So we open this door. Ta da, here is the laundry room. The laundry room is pretty basic. There's your washers on your left and in front of me are the dryers. Um, they only take debit card, which kind of sucks. Uh, the washing machines right now are $1.25. They're really tiny. In there. For reference, there's my hand. They're pretty small. <laughs> the dryers are huge. I can usually fit like three washer loads in one dryer. It's ridiculous. Anyway, it's hot and disgusting here, so I'm leaving. And then there's a tunnel there. Rumor has it that tunnel goes to Orbach, but I've never been down there because I like to follow the rules. Crazy long Freshman in A2, please let me know. I think that'd be so cool. Uh, here we go. Oh, I guess they're cleaning the 
Oh, here it is. This is the uh, girls' bathroom. I'll just give you a quick peek. See three bathroom stalls, three sinks. Here's your hand dryer. Come in here. It's the shower room. Shower room. Let's see what they look like. The showers. If you're living in A2, the middle shower is the best. The water gets really hot. It's three showers. They're really not that bad. I was worried about them, but like, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, yeah. So, here's A2. I don't know if you're sleeping, so I'm sorry if I wake you up. It's a pretty long haul. I live in the second to last room, so it always takes me like three hours to walk to my room. Not really, but. Turn left at this wall. You can see there's the toys bathroom. I'm not going in there. And continue on. You get into like our big common room, study area, lounge thing. It's pretty cool. There's a TV. The couch is pretty comfy. My grandma took a nap on it one time, so it's comfy. Uh, we've got our like water filling station. Okay, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it, it fills the water. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I never really hung out in here, but sometimes. Um, yeah. Oh, and if you continue on down that hall, there's another girl's bathroom, which is closer to my room, so I usually use that when I just need to like brush my teeth or something. Uh, straight ahead of me is another study lounge. So there's some in there, so I'm just gonna walk past. Like a smaller study lounge. I use that to like talk on the phone and stuff. I've eaten dinner in there with friends a couple times. Now I'm continuing on down the hall. And finally, ta da! There's my door. Very exciting. Alrighty, so here we are in the dorm. Here is our door. Yay! Um, if you look to the right, you can see there's two towel racks that have been provided. The top one's mine, the bottom one's the Nuja's. Um, over here we have our light switch, not touching, light switch and thermos thermostat that we can't control, yeah. Uh, to the left we have this full length mirror that was not provided, but we bought because, you know, girls gotta check out her fit. Uh, and then if you enter the room, da 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 uh, I will do a Nuja's side first. So just a quick overview. So Anuja has a closet here. She's got her mirror, light. There's her desk. She's got a chair, drawers, all that stuff. There's like a shelf here. And then over here is her bed. She's got under the bed, she's got a dresser, more storage, and then like other stuff under the bed. Um, she's got cute little teddy bears on her bed. And she's got this cute little picture wall of all of her friends and family from back home. Yeah, okay, now I'm back to the door. I just realized that's open. <laughs> um, and here we go to my side, yay! Okay, I'll go more in depth on mine. So here's my closet. So we can open it up, maybe. <laughs> here's my closet. Um, it's pretty basic. It's actually bigger than I expected. I was kind of worried about it being tiny, but like it's decently sized. But up top we've got a shelf that's just got food, snacks, paper plates, all my dishes are up there, yeah. Then all my clothes are in here, you can see all the hangers. Uh, yeah, now I've got my little shower caddy, my bathrobe, towel in here, yep. And all my shoes are down there too. Um, yeah, and so then over here, we've got my little mirror that I like do my hair in front of, sometimes I'll do my makeup. Um, this atrocious light fixture that puts off a green glow, yay. Um, let's see. And here's my like, little outlet thing. Uh, over here is my desk. So you can see I'm like editing a video right now. Um, I have a chair, it's a rocking chair, it's pretty cool. Oh, it's got this little laptop tray thing that I just have random papers and stuff in right now because my laptop's out. Um, and then what else do I 
this is on my desk. I have this three tier makeup drawer thing that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, yeah, I've got my makeup in there. Got this cute little pencil holder thing from Home Goods. My jewelry is all back here in little boxes. Uh, I've got my planner and my book that I'm reading for history right now. My mug. Got a little desk lamp. Hydro. Toothbrush. <laughs> I have a little wall calendar here that's also a whiteboard, which I highly recommend any college freshman gets. It's super, super helpful. Then on top of the desk, we have this like shelf thing where I've got some books here. I've got my little lotions, a memory jar, another Disneyland book, my little letter board that I got at Home Goods, my award for highest GPA, whoop whoop, uh, this cute little guy that I got at Home Goods, a little <laughs> and then all the like owl stuff is from my bag from when she decorated my room uh, and then if you back up there's my ear wall very small but I love it um oh yeah something about UCR is under each desk there is a lamp it takes a second I did not know this so I bought myself a lamp here I didn't need the lamp it is kind of oh hello thank you uh, this lamp is kind of nice though, like, it gives off decent lamp, light, yeah, but it has in here, it's got a little USB port, which is super cool, it's got like a tray, got a paper clips in, push pins, um, sticky notes, that's what, and then it's got an outlet up here too, so I can charge my watch and my little, like, wireless earbuds, yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So then when you move over here, here is my bed, that is a mess even though I just made it. <laughs> and you can see my ear wall, my Disneyland map, and my pictures of my family and friends with the little string lights. Um, yeah, this comforter I got from Target. The sheets I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. The like cute little pillows came with the comforter. Um, this little guy back here, I'll just move all my stuff. This guy, like the backrest pillow, is amazing. I got it from Target. Um, I brought my little stuffed animal from home. I brought got these two from the Disney store website. This blanket here was made by my cousin Becky. Thank you, Beck. <laughs> um, that is my Florida Lee that I got on bid day. And then that's a sign that my big, that is a sign that a big, my big made me. Uh, and then there is my little fan, which is so awesome. And I got it from Bed Bath & Beyond. It clips up there, it can honestly clip anywhere, and it just blows like whoosh all over, which is really nice on hot days. Uh, okay, then under my bed, I'll just flip up the comforter real quick. Under my bed, we've got my dresser, which I'm not gonna go into, but I've just got clothes in there. Uh, down here, we've got more storage that I brought from home, my step stool that I need because I'm short and can't get on my bed without it. And under the bed, I've got this tub that has all of my cleaning supplies, laundry detergent, paper towels, uh, first aid kit, I think those are cotton balls back there, yeah, it's just essentials, and then I have my suitcase, I have my little, oh yeah, I have my little hand vac, which is so nice because we do have vacuums in every, we do have vacuums in every hall, but the one in my hall actually broke, so it's been very nice to have my own vacuum because I don't have to like deal with hey because everybody talks to the group chat hey jose is the jose is my ra they're like hey jose is the vacuum working again i'm like i don't need to do that because i have my own it's great uh anyway oh yeah by the way the uh flooring in here is carpet it doesn't really look like it i don't know if you get close enough but yeah it's all dingy carpet it's not fun um okay so now here onto the communal stuff so we have the micro fridge, which UCR provided us with, thank you UCR, and you know, it's just a basic microwave, ta-da, freezer, pretty, it's a okay freezer, it's kind of small, then we've got our fridge, just got random stuff in there right now, um, then UCR also provided us with the recycling bin, and then I bought the trash can on Amazon, um, then on top of our fridge, we have this power strip that my roommate uses for her chargers. 
We've got her succulent and my cactus, Winston. Rest in peace, Winston. He died a couple weeks ago and I need to bury him. Uh, and then here's my kettle, my illegal kettle as I call it. You're really not supposed to have like water heater kettle type things here in uh, Lothian or UCR, but it's fine. I always open the window. Speaking of that, I'll open the window so you guys can see our view. Um, yeah, our lovely view of basically nothing except dirt. Um, sometimes we see squirrels out there, sometimes there's a skunk or two. But yeah, there's also this like, if you look over here, there's like a, I don't even know what it is. Like we've been trying to figure out what that structure is since we moved in here and there's like nothing. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I guess if you look up here, there's like, there's the air conditioning is there and there. Smoke alarm, there's fire alarm, yeah. And also the sprinklers all around here. So I've made lists of things all about Lothian that I just came up with obviously off of the top of my head, but I just wrote it down so that I wouldn't forget them. So I'm going to talk about some good things about Lothian and some not so good things about Lothian and a brief overview of my experience here. So a good thing about Lothian is that it has a dining hall in the building. So here at UCR, AI and Lothian are the only two dining halls on campus, and so we here in Lothian are lucky enough to have one of those dining halls. It is open Monday through Saturday, so it is closed on Sundays, which is pretty frustrating on Sundays, but what are you gonna do? The food is no better or worse than the food at AI, so you just have to look at the menu ahead of time and kind of figure out which one looks better to you. So another good thing about Lothian, or at least I think it's a really good thing, and I utilize it a little too much. It honestly might be a bad thing for me, but Lothian is the closest dorm to our Starbucks. <laughs> so it's very nice because that Starbucks is not only, it's, I mean, obviously it's a Starbucks, but then if you go inside, there's also like a little market. So it's kind of like a 7-Eleven, but then there's also two more like residential restaurants one of them is called saver and you can use your meal swipes there and they give you like a tray of like it's an entree in two sides i think and then the other one is called sizzle and you can use your dining dollars there and they have you know just basic american food so chicken strips burgers grilled cheese mac and cheese i think no i don't think they have mac and cheese another pro of lothian is that it is cheaper than pentland it's, I think, I haven't looked up the exact prices, but I think it's like the same price as AI and West and Eastlow are the same price, which is honestly unfair. But I know that it's cheaper than Pentland and that's, there's a plus for you. Another pro about Lothian, which is honestly true for all of the dorms here at UCR, but it's still a pro to me, is there are Amazon lockers here, which is so nice for when you don't have a car and you really just, you know, you need shampoo or something, you just send it, you buy it on Amazon and ship it to the locker. If you have Amazon Prime, it comes here in two days, it's great. Next up is one that I don't know exactly how it works in the other dorms, but at least for here at Lothian, it's pretty convenient. We have these things called hydration stations, I think is what they're called. It's basically like a, it's in the wall and it's like a faucet, but it has filtered water in it. And if you know anything about Southern California water, it is garbage. Even, even though this water says that it's filtered, it is still garbage. So I put this filtered water through my Brita. It still doesn't taste very good. I mean, I'm spoiled. I'm from the Bay Area. Our water's the best. Like the last pro that I could honestly think of about Lothian, <laughs> kind of sad is the rooms themselves actually have a decent amount of storage like I was really worried coming to college and like bringing my entire life into this tiny little I think it's an 11 by 11 room and I was really worried about not having enough space but there's space to spare I mean I don't I don't know I'm not like a super like high maintenance girl it's not like I have stuff everywhere all the time and you know stuff like that and I don't have a ton of clothes like, I don't know, I found that it's fine. Like three dresser drawers is enough. The closets are surprisingly big and there's a ton
ton of space under the bed. Like, I mean, I have a, right now I have a suitcase, a tub, a like dresser drawer, a second one, plus the dresser they gave me. And then there's still room like behind the dresser that they provided. It's, there, there's a lot of space. Okay, now the fun part, the cons. <laughs> one of the cons that I've experienced here is there is no control over the temperature of the room. And I know that at Pentland, you can change the temperature. I think it's between 70 and 74. So you have somewhat of control. Here at West Lothian, we have no control. So it's a little annoying, let me tell you. My roommate and I have been having issues with our thermostat, the temperature in our room since like, I don't know, for a couple months. Um, when it was raining outside, it was absolutely freezing in here and the air conditioning was always on. We could hear it when we would stand up on the step stool or the chair and you'd reach up, you'd feel the ACs on, not fun. So we contacted maintenance about it and they came to fix it. They didn't, then they came again and they did and it was great and it was like perfect temperature and everything was cool. And then it started warming up. So then our room was like hot. So I don't really know what's wrong <laughs> with our room. I could hear it on right now. I don't know if it's hot or cold air. It feels fine in here right now, so that's good. It's a little warm, honestly, but it's, what are you gonna do? So another con for me personally about Lothian, West Lothian in particular, is it can get extremely loud. It drives me insane. I did not sleep fall quarter. So a lot of people who will tell you about West Lothian, if you like read it on the Facebook page, or I don't even know where people come up with this stuff, but they say that AI and Lothian are the more social norms, whereas Pentland's kind of the quiet one. And I do believe that that's true. And for me, I'm, I'm a very social person. I'm in a sorority. Like, I'm very outgoing and nice, but I have my limits. When it's two o'clock in the morning, I do not want to hear you yelling. I do not want to hear you banging on the walls. I don't want to hear you singing. I don't want to hear you screaming. I don't know what else they do. There are set rules called quiet hours that have been set up by like our RAs. And they are, I think weekdays from like 10 p.m. to 8 a.m. And then weekends it's like 1 a.m. to 10 a.m. Don't quote me on that. I don't really care. Like if you're gonna be loud, be loud. I don't care. However, once it gets past quiet hours, just respect it. Like, come on. I don't understand why on a Thursday night at two in the morning, I have to listen to you singing at the top of your lungs and screaming your friend's name. Just be quiet. Thank you. Another con that I came up with is it's kind of, Lothian is kind of offset from the campus. So it takes a about 10 minutes to walk to class. It honestly it depends on where your building is that you're going to. On average, I would say it takes me about 12 minutes to walk to class. So obviously it's nice because the convenience of living on campus and just being able to walk to class, but you do have to prepare and like leave. It's not like, you know, oh, my class starts at 6.10, so I'm gonna run over there at 6.05. Like, no, you have to leave at like 5.55. Like give yourself enough time but it's not that big of a deal. You just have to know and you just have to prepare for it. A big con that I really didn't like at first and then I've you know grown to tolerate it is Lothian is old. It's just, it's, it's old. It was built in the 60s. It hasn't really been updated, I don't think. It doesn't look like it, it doesn't feel like it. It just feels old and kind of run down like the carpets just feel old and the lighting in here is just awful it's just oh my god and the bathrooms like you can tell that they're from the 60s it's just i don't know it's just something that you have to think about when you choose your building lothian feels dated and it feels old which really bothered me at first because it just did because everything bothered me about Lothian at first 
but the longer that I've lived here, the more that I've like gotten used to it, and it's really, it doesn't bother me that much, but I think that's also because I decorated the heck out of my room. The biggest con I think there is about Lothian is the communal bathrooms, and I wish that I could sit here and tell you guys they're really not that bad, and like, it's fun, because you can go brush your teeth with all your friends, and take showers next to each other, and talk together, and yay, but it's not like that at all. Um, my experience with the bathrooms are honestly not the end of the world, but it's a little annoying. I picked, for whatever reason, somehow we ended up in the second to last room in the entire hall, so it's quite a walk to the bathroom. Not very fun in the middle of the night when you have to pee. When I first came to UCR and I moved into the dorms, I was really, really worried about there only being three shower stalls. And I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna go want a shower, and there's gonna be three people in there, and then I'm gonna have to walk all the way back to my room. Like, but I have not yet experienced that. I should knock on wood, but that has not been an issue. So yeah, communal bathrooms are not fun, but it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look into dorm life and what my dorm looks like. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my cute little decorations. A lot of it was stolen from Pinterest. If you are an incoming freshman, feel free to reach out to me. I am so excited for you guys. You are going to absolutely love UCR, even if you end up in West Lothian. <laughs> if you're curious about my experience living in the dorms, uh, don't worry. I have this super fun idea in the works and I'm gonna spill all the tea about what it's like to live in the dorms. That's coming later though, probably in the summer, so if you wanna see that video, make sure you subscribe, cause I have so much tea to spill, you have no idea. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys really soon, bye.